Hello, and welcome to my channel. You're probably here because you want to hear a great, great story, right? Okay, great, because I have one for you. Yesterday was my first time getting my skin tone matched up to a proper foundation, and this all happened at Sephora. The first girl that came up, I was like, okay, hey, this is what I'm looking for. I make YouTube videos. I'm looking for a foundation for, for video, something that looks good in really bright lighting. My setup is very bright. I'm relatively pale right now compared to how I usually am. I go tanning a lot. I'm usually a little bit more tan. So I said, especially with the summer coming up, I'd like something that can work both for me now and in the future when I am a little bit more tanned. So, you know, she scans my skin with this little device that measures your skin tone and then it suggests products, which would be the most ideal. So we do that spits out a bunch of uh, foundations and powders and whatnot. And she goes, oh great, you know, Makeup Forever. It was like one of the first ones on the top. She's like, it's a makeup artist's dream foundation. So let's try that. I was like, great, let's do it, you know? She does my foundation. Like she first put, puts on a primer that does my foundation. And then I was like, oh, well, you know what else? Uh, I've never been contoured. Like I don't know how to properly contour. So. Can you show me how to do that? So she gets this like Marc Jacobs contouring kit. It's like 60 bucks. So, you know, she, she does that thing. And I was like, oh, I was mind blown. I was like, oh my God, I love it. Before we started this procedure, <laughs> I, I took a selfie. I was excited and very nervous because I'd never had my makeup done professionally in my entire life. And then I took progressive selfies as things went on. When she did my foundation and all the contouring, I, when I, what I saw in the mirror, I really loved my face. But the first, right away I could tell, I was like, oh, I'm like, this is a little too pale for my taste. Like, even though it matched my skin almost perfectly, I just, I was like, this is too pale for me. Especially since I tan a lot and I, I told her that explicitly. It felt like it matched the lightest parts of my skin on my face. So when it was put on, it just looked too light. I didn't like it and I also wasn't used to it. Then she was like, oh, I have to go on my lunch break. But then she introduced me to another makeup artist. At this point, we were looking at lip stuff. I went in for foundation, but I, now I was like looking at foundation. I was looking at powders. I was looking at finishes and contours. Things were like adding up. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, well, you know what? If I'm going to go do, go do all this stuff, might as well do the lips. So she's like, you know what? I think the lip stuff that I'm wearing would look great on you. I'll be back. So she goes, she gets it. I put this on. It's like a, it's like a pencil. It looks like a really thick pencil. I forget the brand name. It's irrelevant. So I put it on. I was like, oh, like it's, I like it. Like it's really dark compared to what I usually wear, but I really, really liked the look regardless. I said to myself, okay, cool, you know, like maybe, maybe do something different for a change, you know, it, it could be a good thing. Well, if you've gone this far, go even further. Let's go for the eyes and eyebrows. I showed her how I do my eyes normally, which is pretty much what I have going on right now. And uh, I was like, well, what would you do? So she goes and like gets these colors, comes back and I look at them and one of them is like a really nice, almost pretty much what I wear all the time. It's like a, a creamy, um, like, beigey brown it was just beautiful with like shimmer in it and then this other one and it's just like burnt umber orange screaming color and I was like oh my god that's so out of my element like I've never had something like that on my face in my life I was a little bit nervous so she goes and starts putting it on my eyes and right away I was like what is happening because like she was just going all over the place and I'm like Oh my God. And she was doing this with the screaming orange color. So this is happening. And right away, I, could, I feel like, uh oh, something's not right here. <sighs> She's like, oh, here, look at, look in the mirror. And I look and I was like, oh my God. It literally, and I said this to her, it either looks like I was crying for two weeks nonstop or that I got like punched in the face. And now my face is starting to like bruise up. And she's like, ha ha ha. Well, let me just show you something else. Let, let's, let's tone it down. She gets another color, comes back. She's like, let me just, you know, tone it out, darken it up or whatever. I look at it and now it's even more messed up than before. That's even darker. So it's even more noticeable. And not only that, it's uneven and there's like, one side is relatively blended out. The other side, there's like this streak. It literally looked like somebody slapped on some color and that was that. Now I have these 
like raccoon like beaten eyes at this point i started to get a little bit angry to be honest with you but i try not to communicate it she goes and talks to other customers because they started to get a little bit busy at this point and i took a selfie and you can even see that i am not pleased like I was pissed. I don't like my foundation. It's not the right color. Even though it matches my skin, I don't like it. It's not what I'm looking for. And I already knew it was not going to look right in, 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 in the camera. And then my eyeshadow is decrepit. It looks like a two year old did it. And then she's like, do your own eyebrows. I was like, can you show me how to do my eyebrows? Like, I'm not really too sure that I'm doing the best that you know it can be so she goes and gets an eyebrow pencil comes back gives it to me and she's like do your own eyebrows and i go what okay so i was like okay maybe it's just so that she sees you know how i do it i did one eyebrow and i took a selfie while while she was with other customers yeah so and you can see in my face that i'm not pleased anyway so she comes back and then she's like oh you do your eyebrows really well and I was like, oh, okay, thanks, I guess. And she's like, well, let me show you what I would do. She takes my face, <laughs> takes the pencil, and like draws them on. She's pressing into my face, and I'm just like, what? I could feel every eyebrow that she was going over between my skin and the pencil. That's how hard she was pressing. She's like drawing them in and drawing them in. She's like, I want to match your hair color. I was like, okay it wasn't that hard but she was just she was drawing them on now i'm sitting there with this decrepit eyeshadow and these two electrical tape like eyebrows and two pale skin and i was like i was holding back tears i'm not gonna lie at first i felt really good about it the whole procedure uh with the first girl because like i liked what was going on i like how she she uh, did my contouring and stuff and and then this second girl comes in and like nothing against her but Like what she did to my face to be honest with you Like I didn't think there was ill will but looking back on it the more and more I reflect on that situation I feel like maybe maybe it, there was ill will because I don't know how anybody Who is a professional makeup artist or works in a makeup store can do like makeup that horrid i got home and i wanted a selfie outside in natural light and i take it and i was looking at it and i was like you know what what do i do now like where do i go from here before i finish this story up all the products that they use on my face i said okay i'm gonna get it except the eyebrow pencil and the eyeshadows those were i wanted those things as far away from me as possible minus those two things i had a total of let's see here seven items okay these seven items came out to a total of 379 dollars and 68 cents and yeah looking back on it i really don't know what possessed me to make this purchase in the first place honestly i think i was so much in shock from seeing what was done to my face that I like went temporarily insane and I was like, oh, no big deal. I will spend the money on, on, on these products, you know? So $400 and I, and I, I get home and I, I was like, okay, you know, maybe it looks different in sunlight. Maybe. No, it was just as bad. I go, okay, let's go test this out in my, my lighting for my, for my videos. And I come up here and I do a recording of it and here it is for you. Hey, Irvi here. I just really want to see what this looks like. I went to Sephora and I had a makeup application done with um, what I bought and it was like a arm and a leg. It was like $375. Can I really justify that? No. So I'm going to look at this and... I already know what it looks like. It's not something that I would I would wear because I really feel like they butchered my face. So I'm going to go and return it like now, actually. All in all, all I have to say is that not only do I look like Michael Jackson, I looked like I got punched and then taped up with electrical tape and and then dipped in like bleach honestly that's what it looked like that's what i felt as i was filming as you can tell i was like I i'm returning this stuff because i just i knew before i even saw it on camera i knew that it was going back 
I grabbed the bag, which I'd taken nothing out of it. I grabbed it and I went back to Sephora and I was like, give me my money back. And the girl there, it was funny because the girl who uh, processed my return, she took all the items except the foundation. She was like, I wouldn't give you this, 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 or this. All of the items that I purchased, she was like, this is not what I would put on you. Neither would I. Not only did I have the worst makeup of my life, I literally paid more for that bag of, of that makeup than I have probably for makeup in the entirety of my life. And that's how Sephora made me look like Michael Jackson. It's safe to say that I will never go there again in my entire life for a makeup application ever. I might buy products from there. Highly doubt it though, because in all honesty, I'm not willing to spend that much money on so few items. It's insane. And to be honest with you, I'm still a little bit at a loss for words. So I don't know. Who knows? You know, maybe I should go to Mac next and see what they do to my face. And you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, no, 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 no. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, as much as I didn't. Maybe there is some good that's gonna come out of it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. If you want, you can check out my weight loss journey and also my Invisalign, which happen right now. Can you help me out with my eyebrows? 